Yo, grab my joystick. Lude. Hello everyone, I'm Dean. He's Dean. That's Donnie. I'm Donnie. That's our AD. Anyways, let's continue on. <laughs> I had something and then I lost it because you, you're inconsistent as fuck about announcing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, but that's the, that's the consistencies that I'm inconsistent with it. Any any walls? Anything we could br break? Any bust? No. Eh. Has there ever been anything you can bust? I don't think so, no. We found a thing that, that lets us throw bombs, but I've yet to see anything for... for uh... We did find one thing we could bust, but yeah. it was really obvious. And, and glowing, so... Yeah. You know, there's that. Unfortunately, we have yet to find... Like, that was the only thing we found of that. We have yeah. yet to find even anything else approaching that at all. Well, there was that one zone in the castle, kinda. But kinda. Again, kinda. <laughs> ah, fuck. There we go. Alright, let's go. <laughs> He's having fun just smacking me around. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a big dude. Oh, and he's black. So I mean, he's extra badass. Uh, maybe? <laughs> the dude, you heard him. Mid bosses are more dangerous when their colors change, okay? Is that a thing? Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what Cheat Man said a few levels ago. Uh... Well, it's like any good beat em up. You encounter Borbin after the bar, and then now you encounter him just randomly, and he's really mean. What? He has more health than before. What's this about Bourbon at the bar? Streets of Rage 2. Oh! Was there a guy named Bourbon? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, it took me a second there. <laughs> hey, Robin. Let's go get some. Damn it. What? Every single time, it just makes me hungrier for ramen. <laughs> they haven't even told you about it yet. Uh, All it takes is the word ramen. Suke ramen. Suke men? Ramen fit for the gods. The seafood based broth provides a hint of class. Alright. Neat. Let's do the next area. Let's do the do. Holy shit! You this okay? Fucking. Oh my god, this is my entire experience of this game. Is just... Oh my god, just getting electrocuted! <laughs> All I want is to not be electrocuted by people, and it keeps happening. <laughs> Why can't I not get electro- why can't I not not get electrocuted? <laughs> not, not. <laughs> ah! Fuck. Give me back my skills. You fucker! So, that really does beg the question. Okay. Like, when, when the fuck- when was this developed? Because, like, it said she was developing the games over a period of time? Like, the idea is that she she started developing it in the 80s and then she, she's been taking forever to release it and it was never released or it was supposed to come out in the 80s like I I'm don't not getting know, I'm not man. getting the timeline with this wrong or anything right like I'm I not... I think you might be but I also don't have the uh I don't have the information from me I can I can't tell you Okay Oh, it's just <laughs> she she played Shadows of the Dam. Was like, man, I gotta build a, a sequel for this <laughs> it, 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 on a console that no one will ever be able to play. It'll be great. <laughs> In an unfinished AAA RPG, apparently too. Like they they scrapped the AAA RP RPG and went with a sequel. Is it just me, or did the uh, the sound effects get weird in here? It's a little weird. Like, I, I can't hear any impact noises. It's true. What the fuck? Are we out of sound channels between the music and the after effects of the tunnel? <laughs> I don't think so. I, uh, <laughs> like, this is a modern game. I, I don't think that should ever be a problem, ever. 
how... I think it happens in Fallout 4. You think? Huh. But the question is, do I do I blame Todd for that? And, or the shitty engine and bad programming? Or That's true. To, be, to give Todd on credit, it's the fucking Morrowind engine. The idea that they're just reusing that engine for Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield just hurts my brain. Like, you think they just would have, like, updated it by now. All the other companies have, have been updating all their shit. Why, why not Bethesda? Yeah, why don't they just rent out UE4 or something? Because they're too busy printing money. <laughs> <laughs> you mean printing out IOUs that they owe people after the horrible unsuccess of Fallout 76? I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're printing anti-money. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really the only way you can describe... Oh, boss battle. Oh, this is where you fight the, the thing. The, the Colossus? The Shadow of the Colossus? Oh, Shadow of the Damned Colossus. Uh, get that guy over there. That looks like a... Yeah, right. Where... Dude, fuck, he's gone. The what? There, were, there was a rare dude. There was one of those super rare, fast-moving skulls. What does that, that even do now. for us? I think more EXP. I think that's the idea. Because it said, uh... Ah, fuck, whatever. He's yeah, gone. that explains it. Because they don't actually go against you, so clearly they're a reward. Yeah, I guess. Ow. I mean, really fast, hard to hit, and gives you a lot of EXP. You know, definitely sounds like a thing in a in a video game. You know. Sure. Ah. Oh my God, he's spinning on me! You bastard! That's my skill. Wouldn't that be some shit? A game where what skills you equip affect what enemies can do. That would be. That'd be intense, actually. That's actually kind of a thing in uh, Metal Gear Solid Acid, too. The final boss equips the same deck you do. Huh. I know there's one game that, like, whatever you do affects how enemies do. I don't know if it was actually released or if it was any good, but... <laughs> that could be so many games, you realize. Well, no, but, like, literally, like... If you start going through and doing more, you know, violent actions... Oh, hey, it's this place. Are with, you thinking with, of the suffering? With the other guy. No, no, no. Like, actually affects gameplay. I mean... You know, I don't, actually don't remember if that affected gameplay or not. No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't? It was purely just freaking morality actions. Oh, I heard the fucking baby. Are you dead? Granddad's babysitting. Grandpa's words of wisdom. You'll need a key to proceed past this market. When the baby is hungry, feed him a mock strawberry. Keys are sometimes sweet. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, a strawberry. Hey, look, a skill chip. Oh, man. What do we get? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Close, but not yet. Blueberry cheese brownie! Yes! Oh, man! Uh, actually, do I want to replace V2 for that? I don't know. You know, Unicorn isn't nearly giving me enough health, so fuck it. Alright, I'm good. Let's do this. <laughs> yes! Do you want to go around and... Mock strawberries are delicious. Babies love them. Baby isn't satisfied easily. Go find more mock strawberries. Well, now I guess we have to go around and go look then. That's fun. This baby's an asshole. <laughs> Ah shit. Just like in the game, we're losing all of our shit, and this time around we don't have a goat lantern to to, to light. Holy shit. Wow. 
It was a lot of damage. Yes, it was. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ah! Oh, hey, another one. Alright. Well, let's just look around real quick. Nah, you know what's gonna happen? It'll send us all the way here. I mean, let's, let's go check anyways, but it's, you know... I mean, probably, yeah. And we can't even bust open the the, the walls this time around. <laughs> Was that a thing? You know, the... the, the um... The boss could do it. I don't know if we could. I yeah, I don't think we could. The boss did it, though. I I'm tempted to Oh, yeah, Echo. Echo? Echo. Yeah. The dolphin? No. Just Echo. E-C-H-O. Uh. You bypass the enemy stealthily. They start increasing patrols and doing all that. You start going oh. through violently. That one was different. Ah. Ish. Ish. But whatever. Go find, Go find the find last one. Go find another strawberry. <laughs> Which is probably that way that we guessed. Yeah. Probably. Shit, sorry. Ah. Move ass. Move, is that like move zig? No, it's like move your ass. Ta-da. Alright. We're not even getting chased by a, by, by a horrible killer boss of this. Nope. Could you imagine, like, how crazy it would be how imagine, like, playing, no, playing Travis in, like, Shadows of the Damned. Like, sure. <laughs> that would be some shit. Like, this entire section switches to, like... Mock strawberries are so delicious. Baby is satisfied. Baby is laughing. Baby is still smiling. You may pass. Continue on your journey. Yay. Fucking destroyed that baby. <laughs> Good. Hey. Hey, more ramen. There was a path off to the left, too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there was, in the original game, there's a red gem there, too, so... Let's, let's go yeah, see. let's go get a red gem. Yeah, let's go upgrade our abilities and stats. <laughs> I was not prepared for that friggin' Oh my! <laughs> out of bed, Dad. <laughs> the heavyweight champ, king of pork-based ramen. Alright. Hey. hey! George, this guy probably had the biggest impact of all the appearing demons. Violently attacking the player while a harmonica is stuck in his throat. George was the weirdest character of all, making it hard to believe he was the first boss created. Weird shit, huh? I'm actually feeling kind of nostalgic for this game now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's a game that I didn't super care for, and it's just like, man, that was right. That was uniquely Pseudo 51's own game, wasn't it? That was I don't like, know, I oh, thought well, you enjoyed it. I, I, I did. That's why you made me play it. It's just that, uh, I didn't really thought about it. Like, I, thought, I think I thought about fucking No More Heroes a lot more than, over the years than I thought about fucking Shadows of the Game. You well, know? that makes sense. But, you know, it's, it, it didn't really make it much of an, a, you know, an impression on the critics at the time. It's a, it's a game that just sort of came and oh, went, and people kind of liked it, but there were some definite flaws to it. It, it, it still baffles me why the fuck there was no... Uh, Get in the game. circle already. Well, you knocked me away! <laughs> I'm sorry! Like, it still baffles me as to why there was no New Game Plus to that. Because that was a game that honestly felt like it was built for it, and they just never went and did for some yeah, reason. Yeah, it's weird. Like... It's real weird. So much of that game, is, it just feels like potential that they kind of squandered to. It's weird that, like, Akira Yamaoka was hired for it, and it's like, he does good music. 
But what that game really needed was like a super hard rock, you know, metal soundtrack, and they didn't really go with that. Like, it went for more yeah. atmospheric stuff. Which is weird, because yeah. you can do that too. Paula, sweetest of the underworld, loved by the Lord of Demons and made a princess, this lovely lady is chock full of tragedy. After being saved by her boyfriend Garcia, she's forced to relive her trauma in an endless loop. Seriously, what a tragic character. And I can go up on the left? Nope. nope. Now we tried jumping. It's weird that white sheep is just shelling shadows at a damn <laughs> What is this fucking camera? I don't know. Holy shit. He's, he's, he's trying to drive up the collector's value of that game, obviously. <laughs> Garcia Hotspur. His partner, Johnson, is a talking skull who can transform into any weapon. These two demon hunters dive into all sorts of battles, striking fear into the hearts of even the demons of hell themselves. But it's the guys who think they can do everything on their own that end up having the toughest time. Alright. Really not a fan of this zone and it's weird ass camera angles. <laughs> Even in single play this would be kinda messy. Yeah. yeah. Ah, like if this game had so much more budget, I could see what where are you? Okay. <laughs> so it's like, wow. That was interesting. She's brownie. Wow, look at you go. Look at the attack damage. Jesus Christ. That is a huge upgrade. Alright, now nah, no, I'm definitely keeping this. This is a, this is a definite keeper. <laughs> Yeah, that, that game was weird though, because just every. It feels like what should have been a legendary collab just turned into everybody muting each other. Yeah, no, that's exactly what happened, because. Kiriyaka, uh, Hira Yamaoka brings, you know, uh, a definite, you know, moody, you know, sort of uh, Silent Hill esque vibe to the entire proceedings. What that game really needed was, you know, a bit more hard rock. And yeah, then, a bit more work like you did on a Shin Contra. Yeah. God, that, there's a fucking game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that, every, every time we talk about it, that's a game I immediately refer to. Just, he can do rock. He can he can pretty much just do what the Sam Howley please is in music. But he's stuck with something a bit more mundane. What? Why did that electricity not go off? Oh. It didn't hit anybody. It was weird. And then we've got Suda, who his wackiness kind of was weirdly muted. Yeah. And then we've got Mikami, whose extreme difficulty got watered down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> all, this, this entire collaboration just didn't... It didn't. <laughs> it didn't, it yes. just didn't. <laughs> yeah, well... I mean, I guess. Do it. It's not what I was planning to do, but I'll do it. I was... I just remembered, because of your friggin' uh, secondary chip, that I had one as well. Oh. <laughs> and I feel like it would have been useful in a few situations by now. Okay, that's fair. Alright. Oh, toilet. toilet. Hold on. Toilet. Uh, so we continue next time then? Sure. Okay, we'll be back.